Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Cast. This is a, a, a special interview with Jared Bauman, who is the founder of Shoot.Edit and also one of the primary supporters and sponsors at Inspire Retreats. And Jared and I have known each other for a few years now, and I've decided we got to have him in to talk a little bit about why he goes to Inspire Photo Retreats and what it does for him and his business. So, Jared, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me, Sesh. It's good to talk. Hey, listen, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump right in. I'm gonna say this. You know, it's such a pleasure to meet you every, every winter. <laughs> you know, and whether it's Sturbridge or it's gonna be in May next year at Inspire Photo Retreats, and you know, you're this, this bubbling, this happy guy who's there to, you know, I mean, you're from San Diego, and you're, you're, you're spending your entire week probably in Maine or in a very cold. At Northeast. I'm just curious, what motivates you to come up and hang out with us up here in, in the Northeast for Inspire? Well, it's, it's true, actually. It's funny because this past year was the first year out of all the years I've gone, was the first year that I didn't win for this travel award. And the person who won beat me by, uh, I think it was 25 miles. Oh my goodness, wow. Um, they had done the math on it and figured that they came from Santa Barbara, California, uh, and that it was actually 25 miles further. Okay. <laughs> so right. it is quite the journey out to the northeast from the, uh, the southwest, um, and it is always a lot warmer in San Diego when I leave than when I land in Sturbridge or, or Maine or whatnot. Um, Absolutely. Inspire is incredibly unique in the type of environment that it creates. It really is. And I, because of my role with Shoot.Edit, because... Um, uh, of being the founder, uh, you know, one of the founders and, and the president. I'm on the road a lot. I go to all the trade shows. I, I am, uh, you know, wandering around the industry, <laughs> talking and advocating for Shoot.Edit and meeting other photographers to see if Shoot.Edit can help them or not. And so I, I, I feel pretty confident when I say that Inspire is such a unique community. It's such a unique gathering. And that's why I go back every year. And that's why out of all the trade shows, Inspire is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, and it's because of that unique gathering. It's because of the unique emphasis on community. It's because of the, the lack of barriers that are created for the photographer to learn. Um, it's because of the lack of, uh, of, of uh, uh, it, it, there's no need for um, up, upholding a certain right. uh, image. There's, there, there's none of that. Um, the, the people behind Inspire, and I know for a fact that they spend a lot of time and energy focusing on creating spaces for education and community to happen. And it's evident. And I go back every year for that and that very reason alone. It's interesting that as a vendor, you're going to a conference to soak up all of this information from other photographers. I'm sure, you know, as much as you're there to, to promote your business, you're there also to learn from photographers and see what it is that they may be either struggling with or they may be succeeding in so that you could probably inspire other photographers as you go and travel throughout the country, right? I mean, I'm assuming there's a lot of, uh, what's the word, um, give and take in terms of the, the knowledge uh, uh, exchange when it comes to a conference like Inspire. Well, and that's the unique thing about Inspire is it truly is a partnership right. with Shoot.Edit and Inspire. And everyone who goes there and attends, it has that partnership attitude. And it just completely mirrors how we feel at Shoot.Edit. Um, you know, we're in the, we're in the post-production space. We, we, we solve the problem. We cure the pain of post-production for the wedding photographer. And to do that, we're an intimate partner with the, with the wedding pro. I mean, this isn't something that we just, uh, we just do vanilla for everyone. It's very customized and it's very catered to each individual. And that requires a partnership. And the, the, the connection that Inspire has with its vendors, the connection that Inspire has with its photographers, and then the connection that the vendors get with their, with the photographers that are there. Everyone views it as a partnership, and, um, and that's why, as a vendor, it's so valuable to be there, but also just as a person, because sure. I don't feel like a vendor. I feel like I'm yet another one of the people there who are supporting the greater good of the community, which is helping this industry you know, move forward and advance. I think well, that's one of the, the biggest takeaways I think other vendors considering Inspire should, should really listen to, and, you know, because I think a, lo a lot of the folks out there think of a conference as a place to just go out there and pitch pitch, pitch, pitch their services and, 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 and then they, they feel sort of slighted when there isn't that immediate return on the investment. Uh, you've spent a great deal of time, money, resources to be at Inspire year after year after year and I imagine 
the fact that you're interfacing with photographers on a on a, an annual basis helps your business as well. I mean, it's not something that you probably look to immediately because I think your your approach to all of this is so different from other vendors uh, that you you're there to 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 really soak in the experience first and share your information first with people and then perhaps see whether they could be of service i guess or you could be of their service to them right well we tell everyone who jumps on board a shoot that edit that it's an investment and so it's interesting to use the word investment because that's exactly how we view our role at inspire you know, how, we have to practice what we preach. Right? And I believe that, Garrett believes that, everyone in our company believes that. And that is that we tell photographers, hey, when you're, when you're signing up for shoot.edit, it takes some time. <laughs> it takes some time for the partnership to develop. We can't just learn, understand you overnight. But give it a few jobs, right. give us feedback, interact with us, and we can get where we need to get after a few jobs. It's the same exact thing with our investment in Inspire. Um, it wouldn't be fair for me or any vendor to show up, especially not to this type of a community event, and just expect to close a bunch of deals and move on. That's not the type of event that right. Inspire is. Inspire is not about um, sales, and it's not about um, uh, cashing in. It's not about money uh, for the people who are putting it on, for the people who are attending, or for the vendors. It's an investment. And so, yeah, you're right. It's an investment for us, but it's come back and paid off tenfold because of the connections that we have with that community. Um, and, and, and a lot of them have ended up turning to shoot.edit when they needed it, but it was years later. Um, and that's exactly the right fit. And that's exactly what I think Inspire wants to create, which is a community right. um, you know, that is about supporting you where you're at in your business and giving you uh, more support beyond that so that you can grow into the next phase of your business. Because I can tell you, people come to Inspire from all different uh, parts of their business. You know, Some are brand new. There are many people who have been in business for 20 years ago. And so that's just such a great part about that community is that there's so much uh, support there uh, to get you to that next level of whatever that business challenge is for you. Um, we're looking forward to just having you back in uh, February 2015. And um, it's going to be at a new venue. I know you, you've already checked out the, the, the wonderful hotel. Uh, what Can you possibly give us a hint as to what you might be bringing us um, in, in the next, at the next uh, Inspire Photo Retreats. Can you talk a well, little bit about what, what a shoot done and it might be doing for us? You know, I've been talking a lot more with everyone at Inspire about how we can get behind the community even more um, and about how we can get Inspire to more people. I keep telling everybody at Inspire that uh, the entire West Coast needs something like Inspire. And, um, you know, Inspire is a wonderful community, but, but what could it look like if we could bring in people from different parts of the country, uh, maybe even the world? And so we're actively working with Inspire right now to create um, some community opportunities that allow for people who wouldn't otherwise be able to go to Inspire to be exposed to it. And that's, these are things that are going to get released as we get closer to Inspire. Um, and uh, I would tell you the date, but I actually don't know yet. <laughs> but, but these are things that are going to give more people the opportunity to kind of get into this Inspire community and get hooked on it like, like I have. And I think that that's a good thing because I come from the West Coast, and so I see this unique community that is incredibly unique to the industry. And I don't, uh, I, I, there is nothing like it in all the rest of the country. And so I want to help bring people who would value it to this location outside of the Northeast because there's so much value to people outside of the Northeast to this, to this gathering. And so that's kind of something that we're trying to help with at shoot.edit as we lead into Inspire 2015. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Jared. I know um, we had some technical difficulties, but we managed to get through all that. Uh, it's wonderful to talk to you again, and I look forward to, to seeing you early next year. You got it. You Thank, got it. Thanks a lot, Jared. Bye. Thanks, Sessie.